Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these two identical equilateral triangles that overlap each other as you can see in this uh, diagram such that their side length is 8 units and moreover this uh, line segment uh, AD equals to AF and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this problem, we are going to use the basic uh, trigonometry. And since we are dealing with these uh, equilateral uh, triangles, so therefore all these uh, interior angles uh, for both of these uh, triangles are going to be 60 degrees each. And moreover, we know that this uh, line segment AE is the median. So therefore, this uh, angle has got to be 90 degrees since we are dealing with this uh, equilateral triangle. And furthermore, we know that this uh, whole uh, length is 8 units. So therefore, uh, this line segment AD and this uh, line segment uh, AF are going to be 4 units each. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EAD. We know that this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be 30 degrees. And if this angle is 30 degrees, then this angle has got to be 30 degrees as well, since this whole angle is 60 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded triangle APE. We know that this angle is 30 degrees. This angle is 60 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 90 degrees. So therefore, we can see that this uh, yellow triangle AP is a right uh, triangle. And we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base times height. Let me go ahead and call this side length H that stands for height and this side length B that stands for base. And now we are going to find the value of this height H and this base B. And now let's focus on this triangle EAD once again. And we know that this uh, side length for this triangle is 8. This side length is 4. And now we are going to calculate this side length uh, AE. And now let's recall the SOCA TOA. And we are interested in uh, sine of theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse. And our angle theta is 60 degrees. So therefore, sine of uh, 60 degrees is going to be opposite in our case is this uh, EA and hypotenuse is uh, 8. So I can write uh, EA divided by 8. And now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 8 to isolate EA. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 8. So this we can see 8 and 8 is gone. So therefore EA length uh, turns out to be 8 times sine of 60 degrees. And now we know that uh, sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore, I'm going to replace this sine of 60 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore, we got uh, 8 times square root of 3 divided by 2. And if we simplify everything, uh, that is going to give us 4 times square root of 3. And this is our length EA. So therefore, our this length EA turns out to be 4 times square root of 3. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this yellow shaded triangle APE. And we know that this is a right triangle. And now let's recall this uh, SOCA TOA once again and this time we are interested in uh, cosine of uh, theta equal to adjacent uh, divided by high news. And since we are interested in angle uh, 60 degrees, so this side is going to be our hypotenuse, this side is going to be our opposite and this side is going to be adjacent. So therefore our cosine of uh, 60 degrees is going to be adjacent in our case is B 
divided by our hypotenuse is 4 times square root of 3. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 4 times square root of 3 to isolate this B. So therefore we can see that these are gone. So our base B is going to be equal to 4 times square root of 3 times cosine of 60 degrees and now we know that uh, cosine of 60 degrees is 1 over 2 so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, cosine of 60 degrees by 1 divided by 2 so therefore this is going to become 4 times square root of 3 times 1 divided by 2 so if we simplify this thing uh, our b value turns out to be a 2 times square root of 3 so therefore our this uh, b value turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 3 and now let's go ahead and calculate the value of this height uh, h once again let's look at uh, this uh, soca tour this time we are interested in uh, sine of theta equal to opposite uh, divided by hypotenuse and once again our angle theta is going to be 60 degrees so therefore this side is going to be our opposite uh, and this side is going to be our hypotenuse therefore I'm going to write down a sine of 60 degrees is going to be equal to opposite in our case is h divided by hypotenuse is 4 times square root of 3 let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 4 times square root of 3 over here and 4 times square root of 3 over here as well to isolate h this is gone so therefore our h value is going to be equal to 4 times square root of 3 times sine of 60 degrees and we know that our sine theta is equal to square root of 3 divided by 2 therefore our this h value is going to be 4 times square root of 3 times I'm going to replace this sine of 60 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side so our h value turns out to be simply 6 units so therefore our this uh, h value turns out to be 6 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle and here's the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time base uh, times height where our base b is uh, 2 times square root of 3 and our height is 6 so therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so the area a is going to be a half times base is 2 times square root of 3 times height is 6 and if we simplify everything our area is going to be equal to 6 times square root of 3 square units so that's the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle turns out to be 6 times square root of 3 square units and that is approximately equal to 10.4 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.